Hello, I'm JP and welcome to my channel Roving Chestnut. You'll find various videos on this channel about topics I like and enjoy and I hope some of these videos you'll find interesting and subscribe to the channel. In this video we're looking at the most absurd demise of a McLaren 570 GT supercar, a car which costs new around £160,000 UK sterling, US dollars or US$292,000 Australian dollars and it was written off while it was parked in a supermarket car park. The incident happened on Sunday the 18th of October 2020 at 2.41 p.m. in Kent, England. The crash, which primarily involved a very parked McLaren 570 GT in white, an Audi Q5 whose driver thought they could park it like they were parking something as part of an A-Team episode, and two other cars which we don't have any details of, so they were probably a bit shit. That is, however, still yet to be confirmed. Police have confirmed the incident involved four cars, three of which it appeared were not moving at the time whatsoever. The Audi Q5, which usually looks like this, and not like this, was also apparently considered to be written off by all accounts. The driver of the Q5 was okay, but had to wait for emergency services to cut them free from the car, as they were trapped following it rolling onto its side. What the? Who drives in a supermarket car park so they can roll? And anyway, they must be feeling a right plonker now or something to that effect. There is no other mention of the driver of the Audi apart from the fact they were not hurt. We don't know what they were doing and no one has said they were trying to put lipstick on while parking. So we can probably rule that out or that there were any passengers distracting them. <laughs> Is this seriously something you would ever consider happening when parking your beloved supercar and popping into a supermarket car park to pick up some essential supplies of toilet rolls while waiting for a pandemic to happen? Well, the owner of the McLaren 570 GT, who has not been named yet, I suspect did not think that that could ever happen. Apparently, upon viewing his prized possession, which was smashed by the Audi Q5, he said, and I'm quoting from a third party reliable source, I did not hear the crash. I came out of the store and saw a group of people around my car, and it took a moment for the coin to drop. I think obviously he was in a bit of shock, otherwise his response would have been probably a little bit more colourful, to be honest. If you liked the full story on this, I have put a link in the description to the original article by Kent Live. At this point, I want to give you a big thank you to all my subscribers and a hello to the new subscribers who have joined the channel recently. Thank you for watching, it's really appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell so the next time I post a video, you can be notified. Till the next video, thanks for watching, JP out.